to create something like Paul does, the sophistication is a process that is insanely intricate and it's an art in and of itself. Um, mm -hmm. So, uh, but Andy, you see, obviously you are in the true belly of the beast because OpenAI is Sora and Microsoft is o OpenAI kind of. So how about you? How fast is this moving? And what do you see the timeline? How, how Gen AI is gonna transform video in the next, you know, you take the period of time, one year, three years, five years. It's, it's extremely hard to, to pin down that period of time. There became a point in time last year where I kept being asked to like update PowerPoint slides about the features <laughs> and the things. And I was like, it's literally impossible to do that. I just stopped doing it at some point because it was like a, a weekly or, or there became a point where it was like hour by hour. I felt like there were features that were suddenly showing up that weren't there before. Um, so I, I think we're going to... For the next, I'd say, two years or more, we're in a rapidly evolving, fluctuating area where things are increasing rapidly as to what it can do, what the quality looks like, what the performance is, uh, and, and what it costs to actually do it. The cost is going to continue to come down, even just in seeing what uh, what it takes to run GPT-40 today mm -hmm. versus GPT-4 a year ago. It's like half cost. Uh, so, I mean, there's incredible, just rapid changes that, that are coming. 